We'll walk around the compound, we'll see some tigers, and maybe a squeak, and then Derek will ramble. Oh, it's just so hot. It's uncomfortably hot. There's skin that sticks now, in places where it normally wouldn't stick. Oh, hello. Hi, Miss Layla. Hi, Miss Layla. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. No, no, go. We've been seeing a little bit more activity out of Miss Layla down here, and I would like to attribute that very much so to our intern, uh, Boston. She's really, really good at, uh, at communicating with Layla and talking to her, and, and she's been spending a lot of time on her free time with her. And that's been translating very well into, uh, you know, kind of Layla's recovery from losing Sam. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's still hot. Oh, and that we keep that bucket empty now because there's the one bucket that's in the lockdown, and she's always been a little bit of a troublesome locker upper, and that's, we want to incentivize going into the lockdown by, you know, keeping water in there. So that's just kind of a smart thing to do. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to poop? You trying to poop? Okay, I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. Are you actually pooping? Are you actually pooping? She was having a little bit of trouble. She was having a little bit of trouble pooping a few days ago. Yeah, she's like pushing. Oh yeah, there's some stuff coming out. Okay. <laughs> well, and here's the thing. I know it's kind of gross, you know, but you got to be concerned with those types of things, especially when it's hot out. And if the cats are not drinking enough fluids, if they're not uh, consuming enough water, uh, then you have to be concerned about, um, you know, their, their bowel movements and all that fun stuff. <gasps> Hi. Hi, Selena. Oh my goodness. How are you? Look at you so pretty with all of your grass. Look at you so pretty. Where are your peats? Can I see your peats? You got your peats? Oh, look at those peats. Look at them peats. Yeah. Pretty girl. Pretty girl with pretty peats. Oh, she was declawed. She was one of the declawed cats before she came here. Um, so, she gets medicines. She gets medicines to help her feel good. Help her feel better. What if I turn around? Is she gonna... I'm turning around. I'm, I know they got the camera face, but okay. Nope, nope. She's not taking the bait. Sometimes she does. Anywho, hello all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again, and welcome to another super duper, wonderful, exciting, extravagant, amazing, insightful, profound episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. It's a little bit warm, but the sun is starting to set, so the temperature's starting to dip down a little bit. Oh boy. Lawnmower was slightly out of commission. Our big uh, Turf Tiger zero turn lawn mowing apparatus. It was slightly out of commission for a few days. Um, it was kind of a fuel intake slash carburetor issue. And things are operating a little bit better now. But um, yeah, there was, there was a lot of grass that had been growing up inside the enclosures, outside the enclosures. So once we finally got the lawnmower kind of back up and running, it was a couple days straight of just <laughs> Clyde, Clyde is like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're making weirdness. But yeah, there was a lot of that. A lot of that. Oh, being out in the sun. And there's a difference between mowing in the morning and then mowing in the afternoon. Um, because when you mow in the afternoon, like everything's been dried up all the day, like through all the live long day. But in the morning, there's still a lot of the, uh, a lot of the dew and the humidity that is condensed and uh, there's still moisture like kind of on the grass so it actually works to kind of keep some of the dirt a little bit more you know down on the ground it doesn't kick it up all, all over the place 
So if you mow in the afternoon, things are a lot more dry and that lawnmower just kicks up just dry grass and dry dirt all over the place and you just you just look like you just got done working in a in a sawmill um, after you've been mowing on that stuff. But if you're mowing during the morning, it's not so bad. This was riveting, riveting conversation about the pros and cons of mowing in the morning versus mowing in the afternoon. Another pro of more mowing in the morning is the temperatures are not quite as advanced and also the solar radi- Oh, Look at her. So cute. So cute. <sighs> Papa! 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 Come here, Papa! Come here! I want to see you! Handsome boy, handsome boy. Look at Paul, he's a handsome boy. <laughs> Hi! Hi, bud. How are you? Don't you pee on me, don't you pee on me! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Uh, yeah. So things have been going pretty good. One thing I will say about this summer, and it has been hot. It's been it's been pretty pretty hot. I mean, we're getting we're into the hundreds. You know, the past few days, it hasn't been as hot for as prolonged a period as. Yeah, hasn't been at. Hasn't been as hot. <laughs> as it has been in like previous summers um and i remember like the summer of 2011 that was probably the most brutal thing that uh um i'd ever experienced as far as the summer was concerned and it was uh the worst summer that we had since uh since the 80s it was um oh my gosh look at this. see because he's smart you're smart because he puts his paw puts his peat up on the edge of the pool there and then he's got his wrist that he's Oh, imagine that. <laughs> the phone overheats right as I'm talking about summer and just talking about the most extreme summers that we've ever had here in Texas. This is kind of crazy. It's just a crazy coincidence. But, uh, yeah, no, this was, uh, um, fairly mild, even though it's, yeah, it's getting up into the hundreds, but it's still been a, a, a more mild uh, summer. And one of the big things is that we had such a wet spring. Um, we had the wettest May in Texas history. Uh, and we even had a lot of rain coming up into June. I mean, everything filled up all the lakes. I mean, you can see like all the vegetation, every bit of vegetation that's growing. Well, what that's also doing is it's, it's increasing to the total level of shade all over the place. Um, <laughs> And it may not seem like it, but it adds up. That adds up, and it does work to drive the temperature down. You know, over long, over wide-ranging geographic areas. So yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Because that other summer, back in 2011, it wasn't just the fact that the summer and the temperatures were just brutal. But it was also in conjunction with a very devastating drought as well. So not only was everything just really, really hot, but everything was just dead, and the leaves and the I, I mean, the trees were barely green, everything was brown, the grass was all dead, none of the stuff on the sides, on the fences, was here, I, this, this poke bushes or all that stuff, that was not there, no leaves, and vines were, they were not, they weren't here, it was just, it was just, everything was just dismal and dead and crispy, crispy, yes, it was so crispy. So it just cook that ground. Just cook that ground. Hi, Lucha Lou. Lucha, you can see above her left eye, she's got a black, she's got a black mark above her left eye, but it's got a white dot in the middle of that black mark. So that's how I tell her apart from the others. Luca has a similar splotch above his left eye, but he's got no white mark. So yeah. Can you tell us the cats there? Can you point them out for us? You know what? You gotta figure it out. I mean, aren't you dedicated to this whole thing? Come on, do your homework. Hey, <laughs> you.
I'm just trying to make up for the fact that I just get forgetful sometimes when I'm making these videos. This is Solano. Yeah, he is named Solano. Big boy. Look at you. You're in a good mood. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like going there in good moods. Makes me happy. Oh, the grass. Oh, the grass around the compound. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can get a squeak. I mean, just because, you know, that's a thing. Like, you know, we're addicted. I mean, it's not like it really does anything for us anymore. You know? You just need to put it in you because you start getting the shakes and the sweats and, and then you get nauseous when you don't get them. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh. I just... Oh. Oh, oh thank you. It's been, it's been 36 hours since my last squeak. I didn't think I was going to make it. Hey, <laughs> sugar pie. Hi, baby. Yeah, you're a cutie. You're a cutie. Cutie pie, cutie pants. But you got no pants on. You ain't wearing no pants. You're naked. Where are your pants at? Where are your pants? What did you do with your pants? You were issued pants. He's like, I don't know what to really think about that. I have no comment. Milo! Milo, sir, you appeared! Milo! Up here? No, he's not gonna go up here. He's like, oh, I've got pacing and thinking things to do. I have to think about stuff and things. Come on! Whoa! Hmm. I think today is, yeah, today is leopard and cougar feed day, so he's probably pretty anxious about just like, Oh, food. Oh, food so good. The food is so amazing. He is just really excited that today is leopard and cougar feed day. Nice job, eh? Ooh, look at you. Look how pretty you are. Yeah, you get so purry. You get so purry when, when people come around to see you. She does. She does. She flirts. She's a big flirt. Oh! I'm gonna do. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> I can still hear Solano back there. Just ma 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 Well, hello, Heather. Hi, bud. Hey. Hi, Zoobs. Hi, Zoobs. Mr. Zuby. Mr. Zuby. She's filling the port cool Oh, she's filling the porticool. Oh, this was mowed in here today. See? Mowing! Ah, so much mowing! Always mowing. A, B, M. Always be mowing. What is the matter? Why do you have to have such an attitude? You were just fine. Was she just fine? She was a little bit fine, and then all of a sudden, like, the situation changes, and Zuby walks up, and then all of a sudden, she's got to get crank pants on going. She's got to get crank pants on. Ugh. She saw me pulling up the AC thing, and she's like, ugh, those boys. Oh, those AC. boys. <laughs> They're fancy toys and tools and things. I didn't have that back in my day. But, uh, Layla seems to be, like, happier. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's because Boston's been talking to her. I think. I think so. Good luck her. Yeah. All right, folks. That, that is enough for me. I have got things to do. I've got people to see. I've got stuff. 
I'm all about. So I'm going to leave you with Flash being sweet, being snuffly, being cute. Thank you very much for viewing today's webcast. Go ahead and make sure you tell all your friends. Again, if you want to use the content on Vine, Twitter, Instagram, that's fine. Just go ahead and make sure that you always give me credit on some of those other places because <laughs> it's kind of showing up on some other places without any mention of Big Cat Derek. Oh, that's a little frustrating. But, you know, as sometimes people say, look, I guess it belongs to the internet now. Yeah, no, it belongs to me. <laughs> but um, subscribe, you know. Subscribe. I'll do. Uh, I'll do some more shoutouts on uh, the next webcast. So if I forget to do it next webcast, you'll have to uh, ridicule me mercilessly. All right. Enough of this. Bye, bye, folks.